Hello, and welcome to our first segment of, oh no, second, second segment, segment. Second, second segment of Let's Talk Tech. Today's segments, three segments, are first we're going to be starting to talk about Linux. Our Linux operating system, Linux based products, second, so on. Second, we're going to be talking about Unreal Tournament 2004, the game, which is a, a, just an amazing game altogether. And thirdly, we'll be talking about uh, internet software, internet security systems like antivirus software. Antivirus, like, you and know, we have a whole you know. list for you. Yes. Okay, well, first we're talking about, like we said, um, <laughs> Linux, Linux operating systems. Linux operating systems. I'm Thomas. Yeah, and I'm Alan. Yeah, we're your two hosts. Hello. Yeah. And um, yeah, so basically, Linux is known as a f open source program. Open source, as in a free program. Most of, most of the time, open source is Your free. Camera. I know. Most of the time, open source is free, and it also it's, has. It's you changeable. Ch you can change it. Where you can actually like go in and actually write codes, write scripts, and change the settings, change the looks on it. If you know how to do it right, you can actually make it, it your it own. It has its own source code to the whole thing. You, it's available. With Windows, you can't go in and just change Windows operating system. No, With they, Linux, you can. You can go in and they give you the source code online. You just have to know how to do it. Yeah, it's open source. So you can go in and change everything, change themes, whatever you want. Just change the whole thing to make it customized. And, and that's, it, that's what Linux is. Yeah. I mean, there's programs out there like Ubuntu was made by somebody. Yeah. Somebody actually sat there, had the time, and sat there and made Ubuntu. Yeah. We have a video of lists of yeah we yeah just, we have a video we went so, online and took off a yeah. couple of names and we yeah have we a, took off a whole bunch of names yeah so now we have a, a yeah, little so, list to throw up there so like we'll be playing that in a little while uh, the Linux operating system some of them or at least is Kennel, Ubuntu, Fedora, Dublin, Freespear, Nonpix, Mandrivia, Pedus, and Red Hat. That's well. That's some of the operating that's, system. There's a lot more. Some. I had to actually there's, edit the list because it was so long. There's thousands. I mean, people yeah. just they went on, they customized it, and then they threw it online for you to download. And that's just some of the well-known ones. Yeah, that's some of the more well-known ones. I've worked with Fedora, Mandrivia, Ubuntu. They're that's, all really great. Yeah. I mean, the point of Linux is to come with everything you need. It comes with like CD, DVD burning software, ton of games, more games than. The Linux, uh, Windows does by far. Oh yeah. And well, all the software is included with Windows. Windows has been trying to work on this. They've been trying to give you the software. Yeah, and with Linux, it, it comes. Linux with Linux something... comes with everything. It it's comes called, with GNOME. There's a thing called GNOME. Yes. It comes with GNOME, which is like the base of everything. It comes with GNOME gives them all the games, all the software, yeah. all for free. So you the the some of the software that comes included is a software called GIMP. It's a free open source pro, uh, art program. You can like download it. Photoshop. For... Yeah, you can download it for and Windows. And download it for free, and you can download it for Windows. Yeah, you... and it comes with. Uh, but it comes free. Just about any. Any uh, program you've been to, like that. Mandrivia. Yeah, any open source program like that, it will come with the operating system. But yeah, for overall, it's a pretty good pro. All the programs are pretty good. The only thing you don't like is that you can't really download anything unless you download a thing called Wine. Yeah. You and even when you download Wine, it doesn't work 100% correct. The thing about it is you can't download, you can't open uh, extract files that has exe ending, which is like the files you know how when you download off the internet and you double click. It comes up it's with called that whole, a .exe file. Yeah, and it comes up with the whole thing called run and run it. Yeah. Well, you can't do that with Linux because it doesn't have the Windows privileges. It doesn't have exe. So if you download Wine, it kind of gives it the exe privileges. Some. And it's transferred. Yeah, yeah it kind of gives it its own exe. Yeah, it doesn't give but it, it doesn't It's only give for it some all, files. Yeah. And uh, the, another thing I like about Linux is it comes with uh, Firefox. I mean, uh, yeah, it comes with Firefox. Most come with Firefox as the... Um, main browser yeah. like automatically you don't have to download well, it there's also uh, um the, as the main browser since firefox is the main is usually the main browser what i don't like about that is that if you download firefox at, as on windows you can go into options and change stuff as if you go into and you get do it on linux you can't yeah Fire so there's some, the, some just, the just, linux it has its own firefox kind of thing it's it's kind of awkward I don't the next know. thing is is that yeah. the next thing about linux is that it cannot be hacked it's rare. It's very, very secure. I mean, yeah, it's if you it's sat there, if you sat there with a good scripts, good programs, yeah. twenty minutes. I mean, yeah. yeah, hours and hours and hours at a time. 
Maybe, but yeah. it has a. It's much more. It's it, much more complicated. You, and much for more for most Linux programs, you have a regular password and a root password. Is like the admin password. Yeah, you have to enter a root password and an admin password, and for just about and anything. to go and to hack it, you have to go around. Mm -hmm. You can't just hack straight into yeah. it. Unlike and, Windows, and that's like yeah. four hundred passwords plus. Yeah. It's unlike Windows. It's Windows has a door that's about maybe the size of the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, come, yeah. on, come, come on, on in, in come yeah. on in. That, that's why you notice when uh, Windows has their like security software, like Windows Defender and stuff like that. It's not. It will good. come up and it will say, it will, it will let everything, it will let all the dangerous stuff into your computer except when you're trying to do something in Windows. Windows does not allow its own programs to go through. I know, it doesn't let like programs you want to work. It's yeah, like, I, oh, watch out. Yeah, you're it's like, watch this. out, you're downloading this program. It's like, wait a minute, why didn't you let me know about that other pro program yeah, I was downloading that was super dangerous? Yes. Yeah, so, but yeah, Linux is basically, for the most part, very secure. And it's actually very easy to use. I mean, oh, yeah. well, it's easy After to use, you get used but to it. it's also very hard to use. I mean, it's good for easy people, but it's also great for, like, experts, you know, mm -hmm. the people who know what they're talking about, know, go online, connect their servers, and bam, you're... But the thing is, if you're Microsoft, network. let's say you're Microsoft certified, knowing Microsoft, if you are, like, a pro at Windows, like, me and Thomas are really good with Windows, but yet we still don't know too much about um, uh, Linux programs because Linux and Windows are completely different programs. And there's so many Linux out there to learn everything about Linux. You'd have to sit there for like a year well, Linux, downloading all of Linux them. Linux is more, uh, they're, they're similar, very similar. All the programs are very similar. Some change. Yeah. Like some. Mandrivia has a start menu yeah. on the bottom, but and yet Ubuntu, Ubuntu has, has, has it on, on top. top. Yeah. Um, you can go online and download, just look, search Ubuntu or you saw the list. Yeah, it's just all free software. Go on there and go on the internet, search and it if and you Google. Didn't, and if you didn't catch and download it, you yeah. know. And if you didn't you catch the list, then you, it'll probably, it's actually, av should be available on our site. Um, we'll run it again. Yeah, we'll run it, we'll, we'll run it again at the end, but it'll be available on our site, tinyurl.com backslash, let's talk Well, that. here's our, yeah, yeah there it is again. Ubuntu, Fedora, Deblin, Freespire, yeah. Noblix, Mandrivia. Yeah. Uh, Pardis and Red Hat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it will be on our website. I should have a link to it. Yes. By like, uh, yeah, that's as soon as possible. Tiny URL backslash Let's Talk Tech. Yep. Um, yeah. So basically, we, I would, ra I actually dual booted Windows and Mandrivia in my computer for a while. Another, another big thing you have yeah. to learn if you're going to dual boot, which means put two operating systems in your computer, which is not that hard to do. But the big thing you have to do is make sure you put Linux in first because it's the dominant. Yeah. It's the dominant. It tries to take over your yeah, Windows. Yeah, it will, it will try and take over your computer. It will try to take over, over your Windows partition. Yeah, true. Put Linux in first and then put unless, it in Unless. Unless. This is what I did. I had uh, two, two hard drives in my computer for those people that have two hard drives in their computer. Yeah, that, that's also <laughs> a good idea. Um, I, I had two hard drives, yeah. Make sure one's Linux, one's yeah. Windows. That and absolutely I, helps. And I created and I, cre and I put Linux on one drive and I put windows on another drive so this way i didn't have to worry about separating them i could wipe it and because i wipe my computer all the time yeah so i you know i just didn't have to worry about that because i had one on one drive one on the other drive so that was pretty simple for me oh and another quick thing uh it downloads something that when you come up to your uh to boot it comes up with the two things what do you want to boot from your linux or your yeah. windows if you have the windows and yeah. and uh you boot to or whatever or yeah whatever linux program uh, you choose which one you want to boot from, but then if you want to erase that, it doesn't erase with your Linux. Mm -hmm. The best thing you should do is pop in a Windows 2000 disk. That's what I like doing, and delete the part. Just delete the whole partition, the secondary yeah. hard drive completely. That's that. If and you, what wipe. you do is you pop in the you pop in in order to frat and the, to wipe the drive. Pop in the Windows 2000 and CD. delete and delete the secondary, the yeah. one with the your secondary drive wh or whatever you have the Ubuntu partition on. Delete it completely. Delete the unpartitioned. Yeah, just delete it all. It'll and go just in case, you should back up your files when trying to wipe the drive because of the fact that you may wipe the other wrong drive. Yeah, you might wipe and the wrong drive. And if you don't have a recovery program, that's... Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> don't try this. Don't try wiping your computer unless you know what you're doing. Have the professionals do it. Yeah, if you wipe your... If you could wipe the wrong one. It's yeah, very easy that, to that, do. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Um, you uh, want to go to... Okay, we're going to go to a commercial, and we will be back in a sec. Nine million Americans 65 and older will need long-term care. If you're considering insurance to pay for this coverage, don't leave your decisions to chance. 
Without the right knowledge or a licensed insurance company, you could pay a high price for a wrong move. One affecting you and your loved ones. Long-term care costs an average of $75,000 per year. Retirement income may not provide the quality of care most people expect. Choosing the right strategy could protect you and your family. Planning for long-term care is not a game. Get smart about your insurance choices. Go to NAIC.org or call your state insurance department at 1-866-470-NAIC. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you remember where you were? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To share your skills? To serve people you've never met? To do things you never thought you could? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Six hundred and twenty-six thousand investors. That's how many people SIPC has helped since 1970. Five hundred and five million dollars. Over half a billion dollars. That's how much SIPC has made available from its reserves to help investors. Over fifteen billion dollars. That's how much SIPC has made it possible for investors to recover. What is SIPC? It's the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. An investor's first line of defense in the unlikely event that a brokerage firm fails. It doesn't happen very often. But when it does, SIPC is there for real people. Like me. And me. And me. And you. Take the time to learn more about SIPC at www.sipc.org. The rules of engagement have changed. Vehicular warfare. Aerial combat. Deep space dogfights. Awesome new weaponry. The tournament just went into overdrive. Featuring a wealth of new maps, one-on-one -on -one combat, and large-scale battles in huge environments. Reload. Rev up. Ride out. Car jacked. Unreal Tournament 2004. Hello, welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Uh, if you don't know, I'm Thomas. This is Alan. Yep. And what you just saw was a demo of Unreal Tournament 2004. Which the, is, we, we like this game. Yeah. We, we, we played this like... We, we were playing this, this for 12, what, it was 12 hours 13 straight? 13 hours straight. Yeah. We just, we, yeah, we were, and we didn't realize what time it was. <laughs> yeah, we, it was just an amazing game. We almost missed we the went on, show. <laughs> we went online where you can play against other people. We actually joined like a Capture the Flag game. Oh, we just started, you know... Sh shooting people out in towers, yeah, jumping down. Yeah, we only have the demo. Yeah. But it's, it's even like the a, demo is pretty awesome. You get demo you can, free online. You can go on download.com, .cnet, or whatever, and download the demo, and yeah. it lets you play online it's, with a bunch of people. Yeah. It's actually a really good game, even it, the demo. Yeah, it's, well, like, even us, like, well, we're on dial up. We're running, yeah. like, 5K per second, and it's five not kilobytes, lagging. 5 it gigabytes really per second, and it doesn't lag at all. Yeah. So you don't need a lot of requirements to play the game, and it's a really good game. I mean, 
Oh, yeah. It's an amazing game. Well, as you just saw, the graphics in that video were... Yeah, yeah. The, and there's a lot of new stuff that comes from the 2003 to the 2004 version. Oh, yeah. There's, now yeah. you can actually ride vehicles. You can get into a vehicle, ride a tank or whatever, ride ghosts, whatever they're called. And there's several different kinds. There's several different kinds of servers. There's your... What do you have? Your Capture the Flag, Capture flag. Onslaught. Um, Deathmatch. Deathmatch. Uh... There's a, there's a yeah, lot and of not them. only do you not not only do you only have those lists you not only do you have just those games but you could begin you could be in those games under beginner uh, yeah. hard expert and there's several different maps for each one and there's a campaign which yeah. doesn't come with the demo but you can still if you get the real version yeah you get the real version you can get that yeah and there's a campaign where it's actually the campaign's actually really fun. I mean yeah, you know how is. most games yeah. like the live is better than the campaign. Yeah. No no no. This the campaign is it actually It doesn't matter. It's, the campaign I'd rather is really, play online anyway than yeah, play single online, player. Yeah, online at least so you know it's other people. Yeah. And then another thing is good. You can play LAN, which is uh, like your network. You can play like if you have a computer your sister and your sister has a computer, you can play against each other without going online. You can have a LAN battle in this. Yeah. yeah. Or if you have like some kind of server, a web server you can actually host a LAN battle yeah, you can and yeah, have you like a hundred people playing. Yeah. It, it's it's a really good game. You know, um, I don't know, what's your name on there? Revenge Robo? Revenge Robo. He's, his, his name's Revenge Robo, mine's Let's Do It. And, uh, no, Let's Do It or Let's Go? Let's, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it? I think it's Let's Go. No, it's let's, let's Do It. Let's Do It? Doesn't matter. Yeah, and it's eight, and I have another one called Ace, Ace Coberts, Ace Coberts. Yeah, if you want to add So us. if you want to, you know, just shoot me out on the game well know. anyway <laughs> what, what what basically is is it's like a modern warfare game and there's just like a bunch of people playing yeah and you get like weapons like rocket launcher sniper yeah and with the capture the flag is what i usually play i like that well, game well I, I i like the just uh, what it says you go to the other base you grab the flag you yeah. run back but it's not yeah. as easy because everybody's shooting at you. oh yeah, everyone's shooting and the thing is weapons. is that you can be up i love the tower parts of the video the yeah, vi in, in face, the, yeah in face classic in the game, yeah in Face Classic on Capture the Flag, there's two towers, and there's like, it's in like the space, there's actually this giant pit in the middle, or two giant pits, like asteroid pits. Yeah. And what you do is pretty much run back and forth and try to grab the flag, or- and if you fall through that pit, you're, yeah. Yeah, you get uh, but depressurized. The, I, I like, yeah, depressurized, I don't know, that's the, would never really work. But yeah. the whole thing of the game is very, it's kind of, that's why it said it was rated M for mature, because yeah. it is kind of a violent game, so, but, uh, it's Don't. not. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, it's if, not terrible. But if you're if thinking, like, oh, it's rated M. Yeah. You, my kid no, can't play. No, but there is it. a lot of blood in the game. The only thing about it is, it's the whole violence thing where you try yeah. to kill people. That's if you kill much someone, it. like I think you saw in the video, you kill someone, you could see the. Well, you can turn that off. You can go into the oh, gore really? setting and turn it off. But like, yeah, you split. Where yeah, no you gore. can like split apart your body pieces, go everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, gross. It's kind of gross. But, but you it's can turn off the gore, so when you kill somebody, it's kind of just like vaporizing. It doesn't do anything. So, well, that's more of the uh, that's more of the. One so of the then weapons. there's just the violence part of it. Yeah. But really, it's an, it's a pretty good game. I mean. And then you can you know you pick up weapons. Uh, there's. Yeah, there's, you, you go and find weapons. Well, on that, that was the, we were talking about the space one. Why don't we talk about the castle? Oh yeah, there's a bridge of fate. Uh, it's a good. I love that map because there's pretty it's much for, three bridges on two most, towers. It's for uh, what capture the flag. Yeah, yeah, and you get um you get these things called translocators where you can shoot. And teleport wherever you shoot the like these little discs. Well, that's for both. That's for all the game. Yeah. It's really it's really fun actually. And if you press Q when you shoot it, you can see where the teleporter what the te what it looks where it, like the teleporter thing that you shoot out has a camera on it. So you can yeah. Playing yeah. The video yeah. right now. Yeah, we're playing yeah. the demo again. I mean, look at these graphics. I mean, I know. these graphics are amazing. Now I like the gun. I like the whole. Gun thing. And like the ships, that's new in the game. That's yeah. the new where it's 2000. Oh, that's only, that's only in like deathmatch in a couple of the places. Yeah, it's not in the capture the flag, but these new weapons are pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. And, and you see like yeah, you see stuff coming out yeah. at you. It's not. Yeah, it, it has amazing graphics. I mean, even if you have an okay graphics card, it still has yeah, a it's, amazing. Yeah, graphics. it's graphics. And the graphics I, are pretty. Well, the whole thing about the the whole thing about the game, the castle part that yeah. we were talking about, is that. There, you're, you can get lost pretty easily in the castle. It's yeah, not the, hard. It's not easy. The castle get. part is actually really hard. Where it's actually really, it's really hard to find places. But if you know the map, I mean, it makes it harder for other people who have not played the map. So it's interesting, you know, to find people who know the map and you know, you know, try to destroy them. It's kind of yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like a base of Halo. I, I actually like. It's like a new shell Halo. That's what I like. It's kind of yeah, like kind Halo. Of a, yeah, kind of a uh, with pre, uh, like with a, like more games. Yeah, with, like more junk to do. 
Yeah, it's, it's yeah, I definitely like I definitely like this more. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's definitely I definitely like, I could spend I spend all this time playing it and I we didn't even know. Like that time we were up the first time we were playing. Yeah, you, you we really, didn't even know what time it you, was. You didn't even yeah. know. Like it time flies blind. Yeah, yeah time flies like, when you're killing. That should be people. like my <laughs> warning here. Like if you're playing the game, you gotta have a lot of time. Yeah. We started at like ten o'clock, we ended at like four AM. We thought it was like like an hour we played yeah. so. Yeah. We didn't yeah. even know. All right. All right. Um, I guess we're going to go to a commercial and then we'll, we'll come back with our next segment. With the antivirus segment. Yeah, antivirus. Hey, can you tell them? Two, five and older will need long-term care. <sighs> if you're considering insurance to pay for this coverage, don't leave your decisions to chance. Without the right knowledge or a licensed insurance company, you could pay a high price for a wrong move. One affecting you and your loved ones. Long-term care costs an average of $75,000 per year. Retirement income may not provide the quality of care most people expect. Choosing the right strategy could protect you and your family. Planning for long-term care is not a game. Get smart about your insurance choices. Go to NAIC.org or call your state insurance department at 1-866-470-NAIC. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you remember where you were? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To share your skills. To serve people you've never met. To do things you never thought you could. What will you do when you hear your calling? Um, yeah, and our the, our segment now is going to be antivirus software. Yes, we had there is a list. Uh, there's a giant. We just have a ton of. We went online. We, yeah, we went online and we, we found did a research. Lists. We got a list. Of actually, free antivirus software. We don't have to pay for it. It's actually completely free. Yeah, you get we off cnet.com. You know, just you know, yeah, download CNET, it. Yeah, uh, cnet filehippo.com. There's a now, ton. What, we can just now I'll tell you this. And now the antivirus don't download too many. You yeah, can't download just up, one. It actually slows so up your slow computer, computer yeah. a lot. Yeah, what because I would it's do always is, open. What yeah. I would do is uh, download like a, a virus uh, like like protector, two. yeah, and then like uh, a mal or, or like an anti mal anti like a combo. Yeah, I would download anti malware because it doesn't lag up your computer. It just scans when you need it, and then like an a uh, antivirus. Yeah, like, like threat fire, ABG or yeah. threat AVAST fire, yeah, or something okay. like that. Okay, uh, actually, we do have a list, though. We have can, a list on the screen we if Eric that, can play We're going to throw up that list in a sec. Yeah. And Here there it is. Yeah. Um, okay, this is all free. Yeah, uh, it's all free stuff. Norton, McAfee, uh, Sam Mantech, AVG, Avera, Avast, Malware, Adware, SpyBot, Anti-Logger, Hijack This, Spyware Buster, Zone Alarm, A... Oh, that's it. Oh. Yeah, it, re yeah. Yeah, it reset itself. Let's yeah. All right, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Threat fire. Oh, I skipped again. <laughs> what are, what are, all right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. I don't care. Yeah, Zone Alarm, <laughs> A Squad Free, and Spyware Doctor. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so those are the, yeah, those, those are all are just some. I mean, we, we had like eight pages of antiviruses yeah. that we could have put on there. Yeah, we did. Yeah, there's a lot more than what I even saw on but the internet. those are actually the, a lot of the good ones. Like yeah, I said, you could get them off like CNET or, yeah, I would, what's it, CNET.com? Yeah, CNET. Yeah. Download, but it, most of, downloads it, yeah. com. But some of them are trials. So, yeah, some of them are yeah, trials like, Norton, like McAfee, McAfee, Norton's. And, but like it's something like Threatfire, Adware, I would anti recommend. Adware. I would recommend Anti-Malware. Anti-Malware is Great very scanner. Good. Yeah, I mean, I it like... It's like, up yeah, viruses. it's like, uh, what, were we, what were we describing it as? A nuclear bomb for... Yeah, it was, it's a great scanner. You could I mean, put that anything. thing on, at, like, normally, I don't it doesn't, suggest... It doesn't protect against viruses, but, like, the thing about it is, it's good if you have a slow computer, because then if you want to leave and go somewhere, you could just hit scan or quick scan, and bam, you're scanning, and you find the viruses, and you, 
you quarantine them or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Erase well, them. Yeah, erase them, delete them. Yeah. But I wouldn't suggest, um, like, if you put on an anti-malware, like, I usually, I don't say, put it, I usually say put the antivirus on there before the virus, because then it's not going to work so well. Yeah. Oh, we got five minutes left. All right, we have five minutes left in our segment, and we're going to... We're going to try and finish up Yeah, this we're trying <laughs> to wrap this up. Okay, so, um, like I said, I would recommend uh, a combo. My combo I recommend would be AVG. AVG is the probably one of the yeah, best Yeah, probably ones. one of the best. It, it has a great scanner, but it takes like an hour Well, there's average. Viper. Viper and Threatfire. I like Viper and Threatfire, too. Threatfire is a great firewall. But my combo, would, my, I would recommend AVG. Great antivirus, but the scanner takes like an hour. And it doesn't even, it's just as good as anti-malware. So I would recommend anti-AVG um, for the antivirus to protect your computer. And, and then anti-malware to scan. And one, one thing, one thing's like, I really want to put this out. If you have a, like a firewall, like threat fire, don't think you're 100% protected. Because I have friends that are like, oh my god, Definitely I got a not. firewall on my computer. Yeah, like, what uh, kind? that's you a big separated? problem. Uh, single. Yeah. Single, um, single individual firewalls, like for single scooped out computers, doesn't completely protect you. I mean, yeah, your best we, bet we is have getting, our actually we have our own firewall at our house. Your it's best bet is getting a smooth wall, like a server to do it for yeah. you. A server to yeah, protect. you ha set up a server. We have something called Smooth Wall, which is a Linux, open source program. Yeah. Which is a Linux open source firewall program. Yeah, it's a great. And that's a complete separate server that will program. protect you. You can get that it will free on. Uh, you. Yeah, you can get it free on the internet. Yeah, free on the internet. Smoothwall.org. It's great. Yeah, it's a great program. But the problem with it is you have to put it on a separate machine, mm -hmm. on a server for a network. Mm -hmm. no. If you don't know what that is, don't even bother getting it. Yeah, don't it. even bother getting it. So, <laughs> yeah, but if you know what that is, you have to put it on another different server because you have to run it with another computer. Yeah. So you need two different computers to do it. But the thing I like about Smoothwall is low, you need low uh, stuff, like low requirements. You need yeah. like... Yeah, you don't need the highest requirements. You need like uh, 256 or so yeah. RAM, yeah. Two, two, uh, 256 yeah. well, megabytes. That's because basically all it is is basic program. Yeah, I know. Uh, 256 megabytes of RAM or so, and uh, Pentium 2 or better, yeah. 400 gigahertz, no, so, 400 megahertz or so. Yeah. So basically, you want to get you want to get protected, but the, like there was that list that we showed you before, and it was you know that's all of them, and well, all most of them, of them well, all of them we, that we would show you. Yeah. All of so them we yeah, could that's show you. a lot. You know. Yeah. So the, get at least two on your computer because not one. If uh, not one is just going to protect you. Yeah, if you throw that list. Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah, there it is. There's our song. But you can, like, you yeah, can go online and download. Not one will just protect you. It, you can it, download it, most of them from yeah. AVG down. You can just go online yeah, and download. Yeah, you just CNET. Yeah, CNET, like we said. AVAS is a pretty good one. Malware, at anti malware yeah, yeah, all those. But yeah, good. yeah, just make sure you get more than one because not just one will help you out. Okay, we're at our two-minute warning yeah, right now. So, uh, and, uh, we'll introduce our, our next, next week's segments. segment. Our next, next week's segment. Yeah, what we're doing next week is... Okay, we're doing search, search engines, engines and web yeah. browsers. Yeah, next That's week. That's basically what's on the screen. We'll also be doing um, uh, uh, Facebook versus MySpace yes. as our third Which segment. One? Which one's better? Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, search engine will show you a list like we just did. Yep. And basically, for web browsers, we'll show you a list like we just did of our last two things. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of web browsers out there. There's open source web browsers and. Uh, open source and just regular web yeah, browsers. Yeah, like the uh, IE. Like Firefox. IE8 is not an open source one, but that's just another one. You know, IE11. There I, is. Like there's, yeah, Safari. Yeah, I the, don't like Safari. Safari is the Mac one. Uh, and then Explorer. there's, yeah, AVAS. There's a ton of them. Okay. okay. So um, um, so this is going to basically finish it up. Okay. See you, see you next week. Goodbye. Yep.